So, now that you know how it all came together, I can tell you about how it all came apart. Okay, it's not that dramatic. What's actually happening is now that I've finished breaking down the creation of Unless We Meet Again, track by track, I can tell you how it felt to release it. From April 2016 to March of 2017, Mools and Mel toiled away until we ended up with what we all know as Unless We Meet Again. The first album produced as a result of my departure from rap music and foray into pop music. The first album produced by the Matem way of operation. My debut album. Since, you know, albums conceived while under the influence of adolescence don't count. On April 14th, 2017, my birthday, we released and Wesley Meet Again to the world. And the results were fairly encouraging. It appeared that the work had paid off. 11 months of creating and growing at a rate that I'd never done so before, a rate designed and guided by Mools, had brought me an album that I was truly pleased with. An album I didn't know I was capable of making. And everyone that heard it seemed to really like it. The problem? Not that many people heard it. At least not as many as I would need to really make a difference in the state of my career. Which sent me spiraling. Stupidly, because I don't know what I expected to happen when... Okay. Here's the part where I talk about how, as an artist, it can be easy to forget to zoom out and keep things in perspective. I just spent a year working harder than I ever had, creating something that was bringing me joy I'd never quite experienced, and pretty much doing it all in private with Mools until it was ready to be released. It's fair to say that I'd worked myself into thinking this one project would finally be the thing to kickstart my career because it was my best work to date, and the process of making it had changed my life. But unfortunately, that's not enough. It never was. I neglected perhaps the most crucial part of being a career artist. Knowing enough hashtag important people. Without hashtag important people that could work you marks into paying attention, I wasn't going anywhere. Hashtag important people are arguably more important than creating a masterful work of art. Something being masterful, let alone quote good, isn't a prerequisite for success. In fact, something can be trash, as the kids say. It'll get by as long as there's a hashtag important person behind it. Fellow artists, if you don't want your career to stall, please believe me. I may save you years of having to come to the realization yourself. 99 times out of 100, the world will treat you like you're non-existent and worthless unless a hashtag important person is there to co-sign you. To tell the world, oh, it's safe to like this. It's okay. You can invest attention and time. There's value here. It's ugly, but it's the game. Yes, artists, the art isn't even half the battle. How unbalanced, right? Anyway, I don't say all of that to say I created a perfect work of art. I didn't. In fact, time has only revealed just how much of a first step in West We Meet Again really was. It was meant to be pop, but it was more of a smorgasbord of non-rap than outright pop. It's diverse in sound, but that could also be read as scattered or lacking focus. I dared to do a lot of new things, but because of that, I was basically a beginner again, from the songwriting to the performances. It's an album, but Mools and I have come to refer to it as the world's first pop mixtape, mainly because of how it was sourced and how it flows. All in all, it's just what it was. The first result of a new direction for both of us. So, chances are, even if we had enough hashtag important people, it wasn't polished enough to make us stars overnight. Still, that didn't stop me from losing perspective and having a breakdown a few weeks after the release. But, after initially coming to the same conclusion I came to at the end of Book 7, I eventually decided to stay the course. It took a few months after the release of Unless We Meet Again to accept, but Mules and I knew there was more we could do. More we had to do. We'd only thrown a few good punches in what we now knew was only the first round. The fight wasn't over, and we would need the haymaker to win. So, we got back to work. The second album had officially begun. But to close this chapter, book, and commentary on the first album, I have an announcement. After 20 months, I'm excited to announce that Unless We Meet Again, my debut album, is now available on all major platforms. Kinda. See you on Thursday.